We look at a very old law that's back in the news for nine million reasons. In a handful of states, you're allowed to sue another person other than your spouse who caused your marriage to fail. Last week, a North Carolina woman used that law to win a big lawsuit. It's a tale as old as time. The husband, the wife, the other woman. Except this time, a twist. The wife sues, not the husband, but the other woman, and wins big nine million dollars. Under a North Carolina law called alienation of affection, 60-year-old Cynthia Shackelford sued 49-year-old Ann Lundquist, charging Lundquist broke up her marriage. The concept dates back to common law, when a wife was considered property, property that could be stolen. Some attorneys find the law archaic. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And the trend has been more and more towards shutting it down. Cynthia Shackelford won $5 million in compensatory damages and $4 million in punitive damages. But Alan Shackelford claims his marriage didn't fail because of Lundquist. In an online post to his local paper, he said his wife wanted to divorce him at least two years before he began a relationship with Ann Lundquist. The marriage did not break up because of Ann Lundquist. Cynthia Shackelford, who came up victorious here, joins us this morning with her attorney, Will Jordan. Good morning to you both. Good, Good morning. morning. Cynthia, let me begin with you. What is your reaction to that statement that we just heard from your husband that he didn't actually begin a relationship with Ann Lundquist until two years after you said you were going to divorce him? I never said I was going to divorce him. And we were together and I had no idea that there was divorce in the future. We had just added on a master bedroom and bathroom to the first floor of our house so that when our children got married and came home, with their children that they could uh, be on the second floor and we would be on the first floor. So it was all news to me. How did you find out that he was having an affair with her? Um, I found out, I, I, I didn't believe it. I, I felt it, but I didn't believe it because I trusted him. And he had told me that they were just friends. And anytime any affair was mentioned, it was alleged. So, um, I just, I just kept on and on and just saw the path of our marriage was not doing well and it seemed like she was always calling our house and he was always taking her home and one thing led to another. And then you, you get this idea to, to sue her. Why her? She is not the one who vowed to be with you forever. He is. That's correct, but she is the one that came in between us as far as her luring ways and which I had plenty of proof from emails, phone records, spending that she alienated him from me. She used work and other ish, other ways to get in and get friendly with him and and it just it's like those lifetime movies or whatever that mm -hmm. you see that uh, she just she just worked her way. And this lawsuit does claim that alienation of affection. Did you think that you'd have a shot at winning? Did I think I have a shot at what? At winning? Oh yes, I, I felt that was a, a definite case. I had plenty of evidence and witnesses. Was it about the money for you? Because uh, she says that she doesn't have nine million dollars to give you. Well, first of all, it's not about the money, but I wouldn't believe anything she had to say anyway, um, but it, I'm just trying to send a message to other people that are like Ann Lundquist, that if they're looking at somebody else's husband that's still living at home, that's still sleeping in the marital bedroom, that's still sleeping in the marital bed, and comes to parties and introduces his wife as his better half, to leave him alone and not go after him. Mr. Jordan, I'd like to bring you in. Ann Lundquist is appealing this decision uh, on several grounds. Do you think that the jury's decision will stand up? I do believe it'll stand up. I, I definitely do. And one thing I'd like to say is in response to uh, your critic of the law that we have laws against people tampering with contracts. Um, perhaps uh, if one network tried to lure you to another against your contract, there'd be a, a suit for interference with uh, contract rights and uh, alienation of affections is very similar to that. All right, that's a good analogy. Helps us understand that. Will Jordan, Cynthia Shackelford, thank you both. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.